guys, it's Jordan, and today I'm going to show you 30 different beauty hacks. So let's get started. So the first hack is putting concealer in the shape of a triangle instead of three dots. It just blends a lot better and looks a lot nicer. You can also use clear mascara to tame your eyebrows and keep them from moving. An easy way to remember how to highlight your face is just by drawing a simple three and then blending it all in. If you want a creamy gel eyeliner, you can just heat up your pencil eyeliner for a few seconds, wait for it to cool off, and then try it out. And just like we curl our hair with heat, you can also curl your eyelashes with heat by just taking a blow dryer and heating up your eyelash curler with that. But make sure it's not too hot when you put it on your eyes. If you forget your eyeliner, you can always use mascara by just taking an angled brush and rubbing it against your mascara wand and then applying it to your eyes. If you have trouble with winged eyeliner, you can take a business card and go from the edge of your bottom lash line to your eyebrow and then just create a wing with your eyeliner. I like using an eyebrow pencil on my lower lash line because it's easy to apply and it looks a lot more natural. If you apply baby powder between mascara coats, your eyelashes will seem a lot longer. If you have any old clumpy mascara, just add a little bit of contact solution into it and mix it up and apply and it's as good as new. Use a business card when you're applying mascara so it doesn't get on your eyelid. If you want bigger looking eyes, line your waterline with some white eyeliner. Or if you want thicker eyelashes, then line your tight line with black eyeliner. If you're using bright eyeshadow, make sure to apply a white base before the eyeshadow to make it pop. Although this bright eyeshadow is not really an everyday look. Or really an any day look for me. Use a shimmery white or light color in your inner tear duct to brighten your eyes. You could also keep old mascara wands or take the free ones from Sephora and Ulta and use them to smooth out the clumps in your mascara and tame your brows. If you want plumper looking lips, use a lip scrub before applying any color. You can also use a white eyeliner in the center of your lips and then apply a lip color or lipstick on top of that for fuller looking lips. You can also use lip gloss on the center of your lips to make them appear bigger. But if you're more into matte lipstick, pat on some loose powder on top of your lipstick and it will have a matte finish. To avoid getting lipstick on your teeth, just do the simple finger test and you won't have that problem anymore. Instead of going to get a haircut to get your split ends trimmed, all you have to do is twist your hair and the split ends will stick out and you can just snip them with some scissors. If you're going a few days without washing your hair and your hair is a bit greasy, you can just use baby powder as dry shampoo and it will absorb all the oils. If your hair is like mine and super frizzy, you can use a dryer sheet and it will reduce the frizz. You can temporarily color your hair by just spraying your hair so that it's wet and then taking some chalk and rubbing it over, but this definitely works a lot better on blondes than brunettes. If you have a lot of wispies and flyaways coming from your part or really anywhere in your hair, you can just use a little bit of pomade and will weigh them down to the rest of your hair and not make them sticky like hairspray. For a super easy messy bun, all you have to do is basically put your hair into a ponytail, but you're going to bring your hair through halfway and then hair tie it like that. Then also add some bobby pins and it's pretty much done. But if you want the bobby pins to stay in your hair well, then you should spray them with hairspray so that they stick. If you just apply Vaseline on your feet and then slide on some fuzzy socks on top and then go into bed, you will wake up with super soft feet in the morning. And my last tip is that men's razors are actually a lot softer and cheaper than women's razors because if you think about it, they're actually using it on their face. 
So those were all my beauty hacks, and I hope you guys enjoyed them. I didn't necessarily make up all of these. A lot of them I found on Pinterest and just on random websites and blogs, but I do use a lot of them, and some of them I did come up with. Um, but this is just kind of all of my favorites I've collected for a little while. So I thought you guys would enjoy learning about these, and if you did enjoy it, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. And let's see if we can get this video to 2,000 likes, and if you guys do, then I will post two videos next week instead of just one. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel, which you can do by clicking that button right there in this corner, and it will just notify you whenever I post another video. If you already subscribed and already liked this video, you can check out one of these videos down below, one of my previous videos, or my vlog channel. You could subscribe to that. I will be posting a pretty cool video on my vlog channel sometime soon. Without further ado, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye.